continuity and team spirit and, and asking people to put their all in, but he's not all the way in. And thirdly, his, his, his play has not been good. You saw the game against Arizona. He came back. You ready? He come you know what? He had, you could se- he, had, he, had, he had seven passes of, of five yards or more. I mean, I mean that, that, that's what he had in the I, game. I will say this. Everything you say is true. But you could substitute the name Aaron Rodgers for Tom Brady. I don't think Aaron Rodgers is all in. How's that? And Aaron no, Rodgers I, is a lot I, more vocal than Tom Brady. I disagree. When, when, you, when you break, Andy, you've covered football. You've been around football for a long time. Right. Just give me the one example where a guy walked away from training camp for 11 days to go on vacation. Just well, give me. You're right. That's crazy. Okay. That, that give me nuts. one. I, no, I, I can't. I, okay. I don't recall give, any. I'll, I'll think give, I give, me, think give me one where a guy left his team and missed a walkthrough for a game to go to a wedding during the season. Okay, but whose fault is that? Yeah, he wanted to go. Where's management to put the clamps on and say, look, you're part of the team. You ain't going. You think he would have done that with Belichick? I don't think so. No, that, you, know, you don't think really? so? You know so it wouldn't of have course. happened. Of because course. Because so, even Bill so, Belichick didn't go to his own boss's wedding. Right. He didn't go to the Bob Kraft's wedding. So Are although we agree that it's wrong that he did that, where's the Tampa Bay management? Where's the coaching staff? Where's I the agree. GM? I think Todd Bowles is, 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 is also weak. to blame. I, I don't disagree because – it can't be about one guy. It has to be about all 53 guys. Well, it can't be. But anyway, Andy, I, I'm saying Tom Brady should retire. I know he's already given up his wife, and, and they got divorced, and she had enough. She, she thought he had retired at the end of last year. He pulled the okey-doke on her in reverse field. Right. And, and, it, and it you know, I, I'm guessing, speculating, that's all we can do. We don't know about their marriage. But I'm assuming there was other stuff, and that was the last straw. You know, like that. it couldn't have been just over the being unretired. So I'm assuming there were other issues in their marriage. But anyway, uh, so so there, that's that case. And and this whole notion that now Tom Brady wants to jump from team to team that's set up so that he could go somewhere else where they could have a good offensive line, where they have a defense, and he could just kind of weasel his way in and then go win another championship. I think it's sick. I think it's twisted. I think he's demented. I, wh- what else do you need to do to prove what? You won the Super Bowls, the six Super Bowls in New England, and then you went to Tampa Bay, and, and that team was set up other than Jameis Winston's uh, 30 interceptions and jumped in there and helped to win a Super and won a Super Bowl. And now that's what you want to do. You want to go displace Derek Carr at the Raiders and get back with Josh McDaniels or go to Miami and replace Tua or go to San Francisco. I, I, something's wrong here that Tom Brady needs to keep moving like a nomad. That's and what chase makes him rings. great, Rob. That's what makes him head and shoulders, and that's why he's the GOAT. That's what makes him crazy. At 45 years of age, he still has the burning desire to compete. He's got the legacy. And honestly, if I had that legacy and I'm going out down the crapper right now with Tampa Bay, I don't want to leave that way. I don't want my legacy to be, to be remembered playing for the Tampa Bay Bucks that maybe not making the playoffs. He's got the fire. Michael That's what Jordan makes him played for the Washington else. Wizards, and they didn't make the playoffs. Tell me how his his his, uh, his legacy is tarnished. Come on, Andy. There's nothing that can tarnish Tom Brady's legacy already, other than them exposing them that the Patriots cheated his whole career. Other than we having proof of that, what is going to change his legacy? Forget nothing. the legacy. The legacy's there, and it's in bronze, and he's a first-time Hall of Fame ballot in, no doubt. But I'm telling you, there's more than legacy. It's pride. It's burning desire to show that he could still play. And I think he's still kind of – you know, do you look at the stats in the NFL this year? You know he leads the league in, in attempts. He has 671 attempts, which is 37 more than Justin Herbert. Look what he's done in the last sure, five Sure, if you're just throwing the ball five yards. He sure. has to. He, ha- he has no support mechanism. He has nothing there. And you could argue, say, he didn't have much better in New England – but he doesn't have anything there without an offensive line to protect him. He's got nothing. This last week against the Arizona, 48 attempts, then 44, 55, 54 against New Orleans, 43 against Cleveland. You can't win like that. You do a statistic of quarterbacks that throw 35 or more times a game, I would promise you 9 out of 10 times that's a losing record. So go and look at, uh, at uh, Patrick Mahomes. He threw almost 60 times in the game this year. That's the NFL all, they don't use running backs for most right, teams. Right. All they do is throw the ball. Patrick Mahomes only threw 60 times. When Terry Bradshaw played for the Pittsburgh Steelers, 
You know what a 60 pass attempt would have represented? Three two games. Weeks. Two or three weeks. You're right. You're they don't. Right. Th- they throw the ball almost every down. It is ridiculous. So, Andy, you're against – you say that Tom Brady shouldn't retire, right? Exactly. And I, I don't want him to. Yeah, I'm not saying it's good for the NFL or bad for the NFL. NFL will go on. I mean, there have been great guys that retired, oh. and everybody thought the league would f- fold. It, there's, there's a new breed right now. you got the Burroughs. you got the Herberts. you got all the young guys out there, so the league will not go away. But as long as he could lift his arm and play the game and strap it up, I want to see him play. I'm done. I've seen enough of Tom Brady. Take you your don't ball like him. and go. Take your deflated ball and go home, <laughs> Tom go. Brady. Enough already. It's if, personal if, with if you. If you're not, a, what's personal? I don't even know the guy. There's nothing personal <laughs> with you it. Like I just, him. I'm tired of the act. I'm tired of the selfishness. I'm tired of doing what he wants to do, and that's not what's right for the rest of the team. And that's Tom Brady. That's what, when you allow a guy to be selfish, you can turn a guy like Tom Brady, who was a great player and competitor, into a selfish SOB who only cares about himself. That's where he is, Andy. We want to hear from you. Every athlete cares about himself. He's not different than anybody else. You name the athlete, I'll tell you he cares about himself. I'll ask you one more time. Odell Beckham doesn't care about himself. I'll ask you one more time. Yeah. Name a player who took 11 days off to go on vacation during okay. training camp. And I'll yeah. ask no, you, I, name, ask me one. name me a coach me, or a manager. Answer me one. None, but you name me a coach or a manager that gave a player permission to do so. I think right? Todd Bowles, is, I thought it was a mistake. I think it's I think ridiculous. It was weak for doing so. I really. 